What's going on everybody? I'm Mark Vins and right now we are in the Snow Canyon State Park in Southern Utah. Beautiful sandstone formations all around us, but that's not what I'm here to show you today. Today, I'm taking you on an adventure with me into a volcano. Let's go. It's hot out here, Corey. Have you ever been inside a volcano before? I have not. Okay, neither have I. This is gonna be a first for the Brave crew. The sand that's all around us right now is how this entire valley started. That's why the rock formations are here. This was once called the Ancient Desert Sand Sea, but over millions of years, the sand hardened into the rock and the sandstone that we see here before us with the wind and the water shaping all of the sweeping textures that make it so iconic. Now this volcano erupted 27,000 years ago. So we're gonna see a lot of stuff like this, basalt blown out of the volcano and landed miles away. Looks like we got a little bit further to go before we get to the lava field, but man, I'm excited. This is an Adventures With Me or the books. It's gotta be, it's gotta be right up here. Let's go. Oh man, this is cool. Ho ho, that's the lava tube. You can see it's coming up from the earth right there. And a lava tube is pretty much a volcano's drainage pipe. When magma rises to the surface, there's a cap and that cap pressurizes the magma. It spreads that magma out underneath the ground, forming lava tubes just like this. It is very precarious in here. You can see that the walls are all fractured already. This makes me a little bit nervous. Usually when your gut gives you that feeling like Maybe you shouldn't go too much further. That's a good warning to heed, but oh my gosh, this even goes further. If you're brave enough, I guess you could explore through these lava tubes, but I'm not sure it's a very good idea. I think that's enough lava tube adventuring for me today. I'm gonna get back on the surface. Not a cloud in sight today. It is a bluebird sky, which means that the sun is gonna punish us. Every step is well earned out here. All right, there it is. There's our path through. This is how we're gonna get up and over this range of sandstone. If you guys are ready, we got one last heave before we see the volcano. Oh, we're gonna get scraped up. This stuff is sharp. Well, I have good news and bad news. The good news is it's opening up a lot. The bad news is it's getting really steep. And this is what we call scrambling. It's not walking. It's not rock climbing. It's scrambling. Gotta use your hands. Gotta use your feet. Gotta wedge your body in between places for more support and it happens to be a lot of fun. As tiring as it is, I'm really enjoying this. Man, I tell you what, if I was a mountain lion, that's what I would be calling home right there. Don't look down now. There it is. This is so cool. That's the volcano. Surrounded by white sandstone. All right, I think this is where we start making our ascent. I can see the grades getting pretty steep. Probably why they say this trail is for advanced hikers only. Now, volcanoes like this one are known as cinder cone volcanoes. The reason they are called that is because not only are they in the shape of a cone, but when the lava explodes, it does so in very fine fragments like this right here. These are cinders and clinkers. The clinkers have a funny name for a reason. And actually when they roll down hills, they clink. That is why it's called a clinker. Pretty cool, huh? Oh man, Corey, how we doing back there? Okay, legs are on fire. We've come a long way, look how far. Down from that valley, over that mountain, and then right here to where we're standing. Certainly a full day of adventuring. We're about to see what's waiting on the other side. All right. There it goes. Whoa, there it is. We made it. That's the crater. How cool was this, Corey? One of my favorite expeditions we've done yet. We've taken you on all these wildlife adventures over the years, and we thought it was time to show you what else was out there. So many places on this planet to explore, and we're gonna take you with us every step of the way. But Corey, if I'm not mistaken, we have a few more steps left. Let's go down in the crater. Wow, not even to the bottom, and it is already in an incredible view. Very slippery, very hazardous. Definitely bring your hiking boots if you go on one of these adventures. <laughs> Just like that. Yes! 
I just gotta, gotta take a moment and just soak this in. Here we are. We made it to the finale of today's adventure inside the cinder cone volcano here at Snow Canyon State Park. And now it's time to answer the burning question. I'm sure you're all wondering, Mark, are you and Corey in any danger standing inside the crater of this volcano? No, we're not. And the reason for that is because this volcano is extinct, no longer posing a threat for an eruption. Now, that's not true with all volcanoes. So if you're gonna go on an adventure like this somewhere else in the world, other than this park, be sure to check out if it's an active volcano or not, and be sure to check with the park services first because some volcanoes are very, very, very dangerous and we hate for anyone at home to go on an adventure that got themselves hurt. But this adventure was absolutely epic. If I don't mind saying so myself, we made it to the center of a volcano for the very first time on Brave Wilderness. And I hope you guys enjoy this expedition. I'm Mark Vins, be brave, stay wild, We'll see you guys on the next adventure.